I think we should write down questions so we can ask to the um, community, so we can ask them. Yes, what questions we should ask. Yeah. What do you think of the boards? Yeah, stuff like that. Put it down there. That Where much. Should we interfere? Uh, there's more shops yeah. around the area. I think we should ask, like, um, what do you think about the boards and stuff? Yeah, and do you like the community? Okay, do, do, do you think it's going to be great, asking people questions? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, what do you think about Frankly Community and what do you think about Frankly itself? I've lived here, uh, I don't live here now but I did spend an awful lot of my youth living here on Frankly and working um, in Frankly Library uh, and it's great to walk around and be known and everyone say hi. I love Frankly, I love everything about Frankly, I love the community, the children, the adults, the parish council, the schools. What's your favourite thing about Frankly? My favourite thing about Frankly is the children. I think that the children are a little bit forgotten on Frankly and it's about time that we brought them all back as part of the community. Okay, well I work here at New Starts. Um, we've just uh, set up this new shop here. And what we do is we sell secondhand uh, household goods um, so that we can actually give items away. So what we do is when homeless people, local homeless people, move from bed and breakfast accommodation into a property, the property is usually empty. Uh, what we do is we come and furnish the properties for free so those people don't have to take on loans so they might not be able to pay back. It's a good area. We've been here two months in this shop and and we found it very good with the people that are around here we get on really well with them. What do you think about the community? I think the community is brilliant. There's, we see lots of people coming in and out of this shop on a regular basis and everything is for the community and we do things for the community as well, help people where we can. What do you think about Frankly? The community part of it is very good, but there is a lot of work that's needed here. What's my favourite thing? Yeah. Um, all the walks you can do on it, and it's full of greenery. You can walk at the top of the road and you're in the countryside. Uh, what do you think of the community? I love, love Frankly. I've got a really soft spot in my heart for Frankly. I think. The community are fantastic. I work with children and families and I can honestly say that I've never met a bad person. I love working here, absolutely. I would totally agree with that. I work with children in the nursery at Forest Hill School and lots of girls who come to Rainbows, Brownies and Guides. What, what do you think about Franklin? People in Frankly are really nice. Um, those that I've met have always have been very welcoming. Uh, they're always happy to stand and chat. They're always happy to um, pop into the shop. And they seem to be really supportive of each other. So that's really good. I've lived on the estate for many years, I come to this school and I think that over the years it's, it has developed um, and we're getting to a place now where we're on the map of Birmingham because a lot of people don't know anything about Frankly. What is your favourite thing about Frankly? My favourite thing is working at this school and meeting all of you pupils and being able to be part of that journey and making you good citizens and getting out there into the world and doing what you want to do.
Hello, my name is Gemma. I'm a parent and I live on Frankly. Um, we're doing a project about the boards that you can see at the back. Uh, I decided to start the projects with the boards as, as you can see they're a little bit damaged and the main reason was to bring our community together. We have a, we've planned out our board. Uh, we have a main Bangwood tree as the main event, as our main feature, sorry. Uh, with uh, books coming off the tree uh, to represent each uh, lesson we do in school and each lesson we love. So we've got the trees, the kids holding hands around the tree. This is the kids design by the way. Um, well, it's what the kids mainly said that they would like. Um, the tyres are in the school garden, in the school playground. So that's, that's what's representing them. Um, and we're gonna have the dove in the top, in the sky, which is basically the school, the school badge. So it will I'll be sad to see these boards go because they've been here a long time and they've been an important part of the current community. Um, but it will be nice for them to 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 have some new ones that reflect the current community. Well, they don't really reflect the community as it is now um, because it still says Frankie High School, doesn't it, on those boards and, you know, Ballon Wood, for example, they're a bit tatty um, and we need a fresh new look. I do like the idea of changing the boards because I think Frankly is a different place to the place it was when the old boards were done and it's about time that we started to talk about what the future of Frankly is and the boards provide that opportunity for the community to come together to tell the story of Frankly and also to start to tell the future story of Frankly which is really important now. Well we think it's a brilliant idea because it, as they are now it's showing the, the area up People look at that and say, well, this is a dump. Don't you look at all that lot? They presume we've got a, a load of trouble here all the time. So we're very pleased that, uh, that somebody has taken over this job because we was talking about get, getting them done some time ago, but it's just a job that uh, has gone past us at the moment. What do you think of our project? I think it's I think it's great. I, I like the, uh, the the boards that were there originally. I like the concept, and I think it's absolutely terrific that you've picked up on that again, because it's things like that that uh, can help to bring a community together. They give it a, a combined project, uh, and, and this isn't just um, old people doing things with old people. This is this is the this is generational. Uh, there's, there's loads of things about the mural project I really love. Um, I think the main one is, is when we look at the school vision, the final sentence in the school vision is about the school being an anchor of the community. Um, so for the school to be so heavily involved with lots of other people around enhancing the local community, be it the physical community that then impacts on the social community to hopefully then impact on the economic aspects of the community, I just think is wonderful and we're in a school full of very talented young artists so for them to be able to express themselves and to reflect the values and the importance of the school 
I just think is stunning, sensational. So I'm yeah, very proud that Weasel School will be involved. But it's important to go back and, and, and attempt to do things differently. There may be the same idea. The boards are already there, but to do them differently and do, have a different aspect of it and to get over what you want on the boards in preference to what was on the last lot of boards is so important because we can only go forward. Welcome all and thank you for coming to support the community. This was the aim in the first place to bring us all together and we're all together. Um, a lot of hard work has been put into these. James Daniel the artist has done a fabulous job. That has been the most difficult thing for me on this project is making their ideas into these pictures but luckily it's, it's worked out really well. As long as the community is happy with them um, and the people that have been involved and obviously the schools and the church and everything, as long as they're happy with their own boards then I'm happy. Oh. How about Zoom, uh, Fendi, Jacob and Afros? And Holly Hill. Hill. Reading the idea, like they painted the idea. Did you put your ideas into it though? Yeah. Hi, I'm Alison Davis and I'm part of the PTA at Rayside Academy and they've been involved in doing this picture. I think Miss Wiseman and Simon Dow have got some children involved to draw designs. And say it's looking wonderful. <laughs> so bright and colourful and I think it's going to attract people when they walk past. So nice. We have talked in the parish council about these boards for a long time but the community came together and they wanted to do this and they came to us for funding and we quite gladly funded them. Uh, the parents in the community have led this, definitely. Um, as I say, they're keen for this to show exactly what the community can do and wants to do. What's most important, as I say, is with the schools is the children here this is their future i'm coming to the end of my road event but the children are just starting out on those so it's important we do the best for them that we can as a community and as a parish council i feel really proud of what we've achieved and relieved a little bit <laughs> that it's been accomplished i'm happy that it's all come together because last night we didn't think we were going to get them all up on time so do you think this mural project is the start of something great, bigger, bigger, bigger and better? Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's give us the the boost, yeah. isn't it? To, to carry see on. it all yeah. finished, it has. Mm -hmm.